New Orleans, Louisiana, home of the famous French Quarter, the site for our football contest today. The crowds always seem louder in dome stadiums, and I'm sure it's not going to be any different for today's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Green Wave of Tulane. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you all the action of this football game. The Bulldogs shouldn't have any problems winning this game big. What do you think, Lee? Oh, you got that one right, Brad. Mississippi State is coming into this ball game with three main goals, and they are throw the ball, throw the ball, and then throw it some more. Kirk, they're going to chuck this ball deep and let those receivers run under it and score touchdowns. I mean, a lot of touchdowns. Oh, Lee, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty lopsided. Mississippi State has an outstanding quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against this defense. Brad, look for him to have a big game. Mississippi State has won the toss and has elected to receive. And they're ready to kick this one away. He kicks it. Number 12, fields it at the three. <laughs> All on their own 26. Tulane comes out at a 4-3. Number nine drops back to pass. He lets it go. Incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Number 12 lines up as a single back. They're bringing it. A little juke. Now he pitches it. Tackle at the 29. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Third and seven coming up here. The defense lines up with six DBs. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. That'll be a pickup of a yard. It's fourth down and six. Number 86, the return man. Number 43 gets it off. Number 86 fields it at the 27. It's first and 10. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. He drops back, rifles it right side. Number 23 brings him down at the 43. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and 10, ball on their own 43. Mississippi State lines up defensively in a 4-3. He jukes him. And he's tackled at the 49. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really nice read. Ball on the 49. Second and three coming up. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number 23 tackles him for a loss on the play. A one-yard loss. Yard. 
Ball on the 47. It's third down and five to go. Mississippi State lines up in a dime defense here. Fires across the middle. Number 22 drops it. Ball in their own 47. It's fourth down now, five yards to go. Number 12, back deep to return. Number 36, gets it off. Number 12, fields it at the 11. He couldn't make anything happen on that front return. Yeah, well, there wasn't much he could do in a situation like that. There were just too many tacklers around him. Ball on the 11, first and 10. The Bulldogs go with the I formation. Number 18 with a takedown at the 17 yard line. Five yards. Second and four coming up here. Ball on their own 17. They come out in a nickel. Second and four at the 17 yard line. He drops back. Guns it across the middle, and it falls incomplete. Well, he missed his receiver there, Coach. Yo, this kid needs to relax a little bit more. That ball's coming out 100 miles an hour. You can't expect the receivers to get to that one. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 17-yard line. The Bulldogs come out in a shotgun. Number 14 brings him down at the 29-yard line. Big, big gain on that one. Yeah, that's a big first down, too. Just keep moving those sticks and wear down that defense. Ball on the 29-yard line. Mississippi State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Can't wrap him up. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. And he picked up decent yardage on that one before they could drag him down. Yeah, that wasn't a bad little run there. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 34. Tulane comes out in a 4-3. And he's tackled at the 36. A one-yard gain on the play. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Mississippi State sets up in the eye. Number 12 on the toss. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. Taken back three yards. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 32. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. And we're ready now for the start of the second quarter. Fourth down now, seven yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number 86. Back to return it. He gets it away. Number 86, fields it at the 27. Right. 
Ball on the 30-yard line. First and 10. Mississippi State lines up in the power eye set. And they make the stop at the 28. They get a yard on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Mississippi State goes with the ace set here. Tries to juke. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. A gain of one. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Bulldogs set up in the gun. He spins around. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. They get five yards on the play. Fourth and one coming up. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. And it is good. The kick is good. Mississippi State is ready to kick it away. Number 22 and number 86 back deep to return. Here's the kick. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. Ball on the 17-yard line. First and 10. The Bulldogs come out in a 4-3. Drops to throw. He unloads it. Tackle at the 25. About eight yards there. Second and one coming up here. Mississippi State lines up defensively in a 4-3. They'll bring him down at the 27. They get a yard on the play. Ball on the 27. It's third and inches. The Bulldogs bring in their dime package. Let's it go. And they make the stop at the 34. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Well, they avoided the turnover right there. Yikes, that was a close one. A good thing that kid was paying attention and fell on the football. Ball on the 36. Four-man front by the defense. Number zero gets the ball. No, they faked it. And it's incomplete. He just couldn't get to that one. Well, he looked to be a little excited back there in the pocket. May have rushed things a little bit. Needs to be a little bit more patient. Step up, make the throw. Ball on the 36-yard line. Second and 10. The green wave come out in a shotgun. Here they come. And down he goes at the 39. And that was a nice job of running. You know what, Brad? If they can utilize a balanced offense, mix up the run with the pass, they should be able to get more of these five to six yard runs. Third and six.
Six DBs in the lineup. Back to throw. Let's it fly. Number 22 makes the catch. He's hit and got away. Number 29 with a takedown at the 47. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. Drops back to pass. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. Throws it out there, and it's caught. Number 95 brings him down at the 38. That's a gain of eight. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 38. The offense takes a timeout. Third and one, ball on the 38-yard line. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Drops the throw. Let's it fly. Number 90 with a takedown at the 36-yard line. Timeout called by the offense. First and 10. Mississippi State comes out in a 4-3. Back to pass. Let's it go. Number 22 has it. Tackle at the 26-yard line. He got up in the air and made the catch. Oh, that's all about timing, too, because if he jumped too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that ball. Tenth play of this drive coming up. The Green Wave line up in an I formation. Rifles it over the middle. Complete. Touchdown, Green Wave. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. the PAT. Tulane ready to kick this one off. Number three and number zero set to return. He kicks it. Number 12 fields it in the end zone. First and ten. The Bulldogs set up in the gun. Number nine, back to throw. Throws it out there, and it's caught. Number two brings him down at the 24. The offense takes a timeout on the play. Ball on the 24, second down and five. Mississippi State comes out in the shotgun. Complete number 45 with a takedown at the 32-yard line. And they turn it over right before the half. Well, this really hurts them here. They're trying to cut into that lead before they got into the showers for halftime. But unfortunately, this turnover will still leave them down as they get into the locker room. First and 10. Ball on their own 31. 
Mississippi State lines up in the ace set. Drops back. This one's thrown deep over the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. Pass interference, defense. Ball on the 46-yard line. First and 10. Mississippi State goes with the ace set here. Number nine drops to throw. He's looking for his man. Number two knocks it away. He tipped that one away, guys. Well, he could have probably made the interception there, but he'll gladly take an incompletion. So it's second and 10. Tulane lines up defensively in a 4-3. He drops back. He unloads it. And it's caught. He spins around. They'll bring him down at the 37. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. The offense takes a timeout. First and ten. Number 42 comes out to try a long field goal. This is going to test his power. Defense is blitzing. The kick is up. Guys, let's take another look at that play. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Tulane 7, Mississippi State 3. Mississippi State got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number 86 fields it in the end zone. First and 10, ball on their own 13. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Number 11 with a recovery. So they'll keep possession of the football. Good heads up play right there to see the loose ball and get on top of it. Ball on their own 13. The Bulldog line up at a 3-4. Throws it out there. He's got the first tackle at the 33. How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. It's first and 10. The Bulldogs line up in a nickelback. Number seven, back to pass. He lets it go, and it's knocked away. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Second and ten. Mississippi State lines up in a dime defense here. 
Number 47 brings him down at the 45. They picked up good yardage on that one, Lee Corso. Oh, baby. Did the O-line create a lane for him to run through or what? First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Mississippi State comes out in a 3-4. Number seven, back to pass. Number seven is going to be sacked for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Four yards on the play. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Bulldogs bring in the nickel package. Step back to pass. He pumps once. Off his hands, incomplete. Ball on the 41-yard line. Mississippi State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And it's caught. Number 29 with a takedown at the 50-yard line. Nice pass, but not enough for the first down, and that's going to bring up four. I know, I know, yeah, but nice pass and catch. But when you don't convert the first down, it's not as nice as you'd like. Ball right around midfield. Number 12, awaiting the return. He punts it. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. Ball on their own 10. The Green Wave put four men up front. Number 18 brings him down at the 22. He got a really nice gain on that run. Brad, I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments, maybe move eight or nine guys into the box lead. Maybe they could slow down this running game. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. First and 10. Four-man front by the defense. Gets a pitch. Number 45 tackles him for a loss on the play. Loss of a yard. Ball on the 20-yard line. Tulane going with a three-man front. He's taken down at the 28. They picked up good yardage on that one, Lee Corso. Oh, baby. Did the O-line create a lane for him to run through or what? Ball on the 28-yard line. It's third down and four to go. Tulane lines up defensively in a 4-3. And he stopped behind the line. No gains. Ball on the 27. Fourth and four. Number 86, the return man. Number 43 gets it off. Number 86 fields it at the 37. Number 86. It's first and 10. Defense lines up in a 4 3. He jukes. He spins around. Tackle at the 40-yard line. They get three yards on the play. A gain of three on the play. Oh. 
Ball on their own 40. It's second down and six to go. They use four linebackers. Second and six at the 40-yard line. And he's taken down at the 49. Pick up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Tulane, seven, Mississippi State, three. They've switched sides, and these teams are all set to start the fourth and final quarter. It's first and ten. The green wave go with the I formation. He lateral. He lost the ball. Number 26 scoops up the loose ball. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Ball on the 43. Second and long coming up here. They come out in a nickel. Number seven steps back to pass. He pumps once. He's looking for his man. Incomplete. And there was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, he had to get rid of him in a hurry, and that's why his pass was off. Ball on the 43-yard line. Mississippi State brings in their nickel package. He jukes. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. A gain of one. Ball on the 45. Fourth and long. Number 12, back deep to return. Number 36, gets it off. First and 10. The Bulldogs line up in an I formation. Here they come. And he's going to lose yards on this one. That'll be a loss of one. Ball on the 19. Tulane comes out in a 4-3. A move. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. Nothing gained on the play. Ball on the 18 yard line. Tulane comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Number nine is going to be sacked for a loss. Eight yards back on the play. Ball on the nine-yard line. Fourth and long. Number 86. Back to return it. Number 43 gets it off. 86 fields at the 48 he really didn't have any room to work on that punt return yeah but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out they didn't hold the coverage team at bay they just let him right through first and ten four three defense at the 48 Number 98 with a takedown at the 46-yard line. He carried for a nice gain before they could wrestle him down. Brad, if he keeps running like that, he'll get his number called again and again and again. 
It's second down and two to go. Tulane lines up in a goal line set. First down, number 99 brings him down at the 42. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really nice read. First and ten, ball on the 42. Three man front defensively. At the 42 yard line. Spin move. And he's taken down at the 40. Timeout called by the defense. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 40. Number 26 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Number 90 with a takedown at the 39-yard line. The defense takes a timeout on the play. Ball on the 39. Third and six. Tulane will line up in a jumbo set here. Number 47 brings him down at the 34-yard line. That's four yards on the play. Fourth and two coming up on this one. Ball on the 34-yard line. Number 47 lines up for a long field goal, and I'm not sure he's got the power to make this one. The kick is up. And it's wide right. No good. Let's take another look at the kick. Ball on the 34. Tulane lines up defensively in a 4-3. He drops back. He passes it. Complete. He had to stretch to get that pass. He's going to pull a muscle if he has to do that again. Second and two. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number nine is back in the gun. He drops back. Throws it deep downfield. And it's incomplete. Ball on their own 42. The Bulldogs come out in the shotgun. Back pass. He lets it go. Incomplete pass. Fourth and two. Ball on the 42-yard line. Tulane comes out in a 4-3. He spins around, shakes off a tackle. Number 14 with a takedown at the 43-yard line. And so the drive continues. Ball on the 43-yard line. Ace backfield, number nine, drops to throw. He throws it. Incomplete. And he just let that one slip out of his hand. Oh, he can't take his eyes off the ball. It looks like that's what happened. Right. 
Sixth play of this drive coming up. Number nine lines up in the shotgun, drops back, rolls to the right, fires across the middle. And that's a tough play to make, Coach. You know, having to concentrate on the ball while the ball is still in the air sometimes causes the receiver not to be aware of where the sideline is. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation. Number nine drops to throw. Heaves a long one down the middle. Breaks one. Number 15 with a catch. Touchdown, Touchdown. Bulldogs. Coach, what can you say about that? All I can say is that was a nice call. The quarterback saw the hole in the defense, and that's a touchdown, folks. He hits the PAT. Mississippi State to kick number 22 and number 86 deep to return number 42 kicks it off number 86 takes it at the four didn't get much of a return there oh that was a fine job right there by the coverage team they stayed in their lanes and they took good pursuit angles first and ten Number seven is back in the gun. Number seven, back to pass. He's going long. And that one's fallen incomplete. He had it, but he couldn't hang on to it. You know, there's really no excuse for that either. He needs to make that catch, coach. I agree 100% with you. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He passes it. Incomplete pass. That makes the score Mississippi State 10 to lane 7. And that's the end of the game. Kirk, any final thoughts here? This is just a tough, tough loss to take. Tulane walks away from this game utterly disappointed because they nearly pulled off one of the biggest upsets in school history. But you know what? I think after the initial hurt wears off, these guys will be proud of the way they played today. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2002. We hope you join us again. Again, our final score, Mississippi State 10. Tulane, seven. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.